Stephen here from burgundywine.com at Domaine de Crome, which is the home of burgundywine.com here in Burgundy. And we're going to do another recipe for you, which is coat de boeuf with some vegetables from the garden and a compound butter. We've already made the compound butter, so have a look at that in a previous video and gathering the ingredients in the garden as well with Bernard. So coming to the coat de boeuf, um, we've already pre-aged this in-house so the meat was bought it was a really nice cut and it was nicely aged it was probably about two weeks but we wanted to intensify that process so we just hung it in a fridge a small fridge we have here and turned the fridge to the highest setting and just just hung the meat in it nothing else very simply so we were trying to achieve two things one is moisture reduction so just water reduction within the joint and anytime water is reduced from anything, flavour intensifies. The second thing process that happens in the age, aging is the molecular um, structure of the meat changes, so and improves. Um, the second thing we want to do that's maybe slightly unusual is we're not going to seal the meat before we put it into the oven. We're going to put the oven on very low temperature. We're going to roast this very, very long, very, very low, and afterwards then we will seal the meat. This, well, I shouldn't even say seal the meat because that whole sealing of meat is a myth. There's no such thing as sealing in the juices of a meat. It just doesn't happen that way. If, in fact, it's the opposite. If you, if you put a piece of meat like this or any meat onto a hot pan, juices run out straight away. You can see that yourself. So there's no such, you just don't seal the meat. You, the, a way you can retain moisture within a joint like this or any piece of meat is to cook it below uh, 64, 63 degrees, where protein maintains moisture. If you can do that, you, 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 you keep the moisture within the joint itself. Um, I'm just covering it with a little bit of beef fat, beef lard. If you can't get a hold of that, um, just use some regular neutral vegetable oil. The joint is sitting just on a trivet of uh, onions that we might use later on in the, in the dish depending on the flavour. So 70 degrees Celsius, Lily will put up the Fahrenheit on the recipe for you. Goes in there, it couldn't be simpler and we'll see it in probably about six to seven hours. So these are just the uh, onions under the beef that we've just sealed off. The freshly stirred potatoes have been boiled and now they're just... Sometimes after I strain them I leave them back onto the heat again just for a few seconds just to kind of get rid of any excess steam. So now we're going to... These are the onions that were underneath, some leek. Like I said earlier, don't get too caught up on the um, having exactly the same ingredients. I mean, onions are easy to get, leeks are easy to get. But the mushrooms, maybe not so much. These are seasonal. They come from about six kilometers up the road, a place in Nole, Florets and just brown something new. So we're lucky to have got really good goat cheese farm down the road. We've got these mushroom growers who give us both wine of course. Yeah. <laughs> these are leaves just picked from the garden. So the idea is really simple. I mean we've got really good beef, we've got nice ingredients, it's gonna be nice new potatoes it's very very simple a compound butter this is going to just cook down over a few minutes we'll speed it up on the magic of the video and um, crack the seasoning small bit of cream add the leaves set for the flavor and then hopefully put it together so So 
a very dry pan. We've already flambéed the beef and the house is still standing. We didn't burn it down. Um, so just very little cream because we already have some cream in the butter. We don't want to have too much. Smorch the glaze. Smorch the glaze the pan and then you can just see, you know, it's not swimming, it's just like that. And very simply we can put the dish together. So the freshly dug potatoes just finished, like we said, we drained them and then put them back on the heat just to get rid of the excess steam. And they're so good, so fresh, you don't really need to do anything else with them, just season them. We're gonna have nice butter on the, um, on the steak. So I'll leave them aside. We'll just leave the few garden greens in to the mushrooms. And like, I just tear them. And that was the same with the mushrooms. There was no chopping. I just tear them. I like that effect. So these will just float down with the heat. Set this aside. Oh.